I don't like hypocrisy. Now we're getting people being shut down because they make a tweet. I'm talking about Roseanne. I used to watch that when I was a kid. I heard a little clip from what it sounds like these days. Sounds good. She makes a tweet and they shut it down. And the hypocrisy I don't like is how the media and everyone can talk about Donald Trump in a kind of hate speech way, let's face it, things they're saying. And they're saying it a lot. And they're saying it on radio. I mean, it's less now, but more when he first got elected. So that's, it's hypocritical. I believe in free speech. I said I'd fight for free speech. That's something worth fighting for. So the title of this video is meant to be confrontational. And it's true. I am doubtful about the Holocaust. I wouldn't call myself a Holocaust denier because I don't know. But I'm just doubtful about the whole thing. And I don't like the way Israel bully their neighbours the way they treat people in Gaza and the other Palestinians. It doesn't seem, you know, coming from a people who, whose claim is that, you know, they were persecuted by the Nazis, to then be just as bad to their own neighbours in their new land, which they took by force, it's hypocritical. So we won't have that, thank you. Um, and if I get some sort of strike for this video or some problems, you know, I'm going to stand up for myself and say, well, look, what proof do we have that millions of Jews were killed in gas chambers in Germany? during the Second World War. What proof do we have? We've got some pictures. But what other proof? Where's, where's the proof? If you can be called a Holocaust denier and that mean that you are sort of, you know, they'd like to wipe these people off the earth, wouldn't they? You're a Holocaust denier, you have no right now to say anything because you deny the Holocaust, so you must be, what, evil or something. Now, the reason I'm doubtful about it is I just think, you know, we don't know what the Nazis were doing, what was their agenda? You know, once they'd taken all the gold off all the Jews and everything, okay, so maybe they didn't want to feed them anymore. But I am just sceptical about the whole thing because I could see how it could have been a plan, a plot, from e even earlier in time to get a hold of Israel. Well, I shouldn't even call it Israel. To get a hold of that land, to lay claim to that land in the Middle East. So I'm sceptical. I'm wondering if the Nazis, in a sense, took on some of the identities of these Jews. So maybe they did kill lots of them and maybe took their identities. I don't know. I don't have the facts, but I feel it's in my right to say I'm doubtful that the true story of the Holocaust has ever come out. You know, I've watched Schindler's List. I think everything, everything about the, the what, what do we call it, Zion and, you know, they've tried to orchestrate some sort of false Zion. You know, if God's kingdom is going to come, God's going to do it. You know, we don't have to be trying to sort of trick our way into having God's kingdom on earth. When God's kingdom comes, it will come. And it won't just be one people. It won't just be, you know, God wouldn't have a chosen people. So if you're Jewish and you think, yeah, I'm one of the chosen people, 
you know, you're, you're totally wrong and cutting the foreskin off your penis isn't going to make a blind bit of difference. You know, it does seem like the Jewish people have a monopoly on some of the areas of, of business, like entertainment, like banking. They do, they do seem to have cornered the market in some areas. And I'm not against Jewish people, but anyone can become a Jew. We just had that, is his name Roman Abramovich, a Russian guy? Just became a Jew. Just became an Israeli citizen. So now he can come in and out of England. And why, why have we got that arrangement with the UK? Why is the UK say anyone with an Israeli passport can come and go into the country without a visa? Why have we got that arrangement? Why don't we have that arrangement with the Palestinians? Uh, I don't, don't like this unfairness. And the people in Gaza at the moment, they must be... Well, they have been for a long time, prisoned, in hell, all because of the Israelis, because of them. So, here's what I'm saying, is the Israeli state actually something from the Nazis? So when the Nazis knew they were going to lose the war, did they come up with this plan, the way they could get lots of their people different identities, a Jewish identity, go over to America, a few years later, come and lay claim to Israel. So, what I'm saying there, this is, if you like, this is my possible theory, what I'm thinking is that, that yes, all the Jews, a lot of the Jews would have been killed, but their identity is stolen, and then a Nazi takes their place, calls himself a Jew. They probably don't care about the religion. You know, you had the Jews already living in Palestine. They were probably mainly the religious ones. And those religious sects probably carried on unchanged and they do their thing. But the people who buy the weapons and make the plans for war, they're not the religious ones. They're the state. Let's just, I'm just for sake, I'm calling them out. I'm saying they're Nazis. People have called Donald Trump a Nazi. Millions of tweets about him from famous people. Did any of them lose their jobs or have their programs cancelled? No. He's been called a monkey, an orangutan, everything under the earth. Did anything happen to those people for this hate speech? No. So let's end the hypocrisy. All lives matter. Let's have that and stick with that. Okay, thanks, bye.